Hello, everyone, and welcome to Celebrate Wonder here on our new week with our new curriculum. I'm Pastor Meredith, lead pastor at Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church, and I'm here with uh, Miss Laurie, who's our minister, Christian Education and Youth, and Law the Lamb. What's going on there at your house, Miss Laurie? This household has so much laundry. So much laundry. And there's there's like three of us that are almost the same size and trying to sort it and fold it and figure it out. Ugh. You and you and Laud and Mortimer look a little overwhelmed by that chaotic pile of laundry. Yeah, and Mortimer here keeps pointing to this word behind me, joy. I'm supposed to find joy in my laundry. But actually, I think you can. It's starting to feel a little bad right now because, you know, all of this laundry means that we have a lot of people in our family, which is awesome. It also means that we have clothes to wear and a place to put them. So that's making me actually feel pretty joyful. Interesting, Miss Laurie. You know what? We're going to have to explore this a little bit further today, I think, uh, with Mortimer and Laud and Joy. So uh, let's, should we head inside and go to our wonder table and get started then with our Celebrate Wonder? I think we should. We'll see you inside in a minute, everybody. See you there. Okay. We are here right now at our wonder table. And I'm at mine, and Pastor Meredith is at hers. I'm here with Laud and Mortimer, Morty here. And we're going to start. We're going to go ahead and light our wonder candle. Remember, we light the candle, not the lamb. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and do that. Perfect. So we are starting this new um, Celebrate Wonder series. We're on week one which I think is really joyful, which happens to be our new faith word, joy. I've cut mine out, I've started coloring it, I'm not done yet. And I also have, Mortimer wants you to see behind him, a picture that says joy hanging on the wall. Now, I think we all have an idea. Oh, and Pastor Meredith has joy right behind her too. She also has a daughter named Joy. I do. So this new word, I think a lot of times we think it means happiness. I think joy is even more than that. I really do. What do you think joy feels like, Pastor Meredith? Well, I, that's a great question. I think joy can feel like lots of different things. I think joy can feel like happiness and maybe being excited, but I think it also feels a whole lot like being thankful and feeling gratitude deep down, I think is often what joy feels like. Sometimes it doesn't feel like happy. It just feels very deep down, like things are right and well and, and powerful and we can do this thing, which reminds me of our Bible story for today. We hope that you all will read the Bible story together. It is found in the gospel of Luke in chapter one. It begins at verse 26 and it's where we meet Mary, Jesus's mother. And she is a young woman and she, as is my little Mary right here, is we hear in our story that an angel appears to her and tells her that she is going to have a child and that her child is going to be known as God's son and that she's going to name him Jesus. And of course, Mary is like, what are you talking about? And she's confused and a little overwhelmed by the whole thing. She can't imagine how this could be possible, but she is then reassured by the Holy Spirit, you know, God's presence with us to remind her that God can make all things possible. And Mary finds great joy in this. 
that God is going to do this wonderful thing with her. And she says, yes, God, I want to be a partner with you in doing this wonderful thing. And uh, she agrees to do that work and finds wonderful joy in it, just like our faith word, joy. You know, sometimes it seems hard in our life when there's lots of chaos and confusion going on to be able to find joy. Sometimes we don't feel happy, right, Miss Laurie? Right. Sometimes. But we can find joy because with God, all things are possible. So I'm going to roll my wonder cube. Again, we hope that you'll read that story. I'm going to roll my wonder cube and see what I come up with here. Oh, I got this. If you could be any character in the Bible story, what character would you be? And why? Remember, you all roll your wonder cubes at home. So I think I would like to be the angel. I think it would be so fun to show up in the middle of the story and proclaim good news and help Mary work through. I think it'd be cool to be the angel. What about you, Miss Laurie? I think I want to be Mary. I'd like to know what that feels like to have an angel come and visit me and tell me what's going to happen and then make me feel good about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's what I would like. I'm gonna roll my wonder cube now. Okay, ready, Lod? Here we go. Oh, I got the same thing as you. Oh, what did the Bible story teach you? That's a really good question. I think it taught me to trust God and to listen. There's joy in all kinds of situations that sometimes we have to really think about it. We have to listen. Well, That's I like what that. I think. You know, I think that um, one of the things I learned is that all things are possible with God. Even sometimes things that seem impossible that God can make a way, mm -hmm. which is really awesome. Well, as we get ready for our Bible video, do you want to lead us in our prayer, Miss Laurie? Sure. Okay. Pray along with me. Dear God. Dear God. Help me be full of joy. Help me be full of joy. Amen. Amen. Okay, get close, everybody. It's time for our Bible story video that's coming up next, and we'll see you again in a few minutes. Greetings, friends. I'm Abigail. Come wonder with me. Have you ever been told news that felt exciting, but also a little scary? In our scripture today, we meet a young woman named Mary. God sent the angel Gabriel to tell her that she was going to have a son and it would be God's son. Gabriel knew that this was big news. So he reminded Mary not to be afraid and told her that God was honoring her. God chose someone who others saw as ordinary to do an extraordinary thing. I wonder how Mary felt. I can imagine so many emotions. Do you think she was confused or certain? What about sad or happy? What about excited or afraid? Honestly, maybe she felt all of these things. What we do know is that Mary felt joy. Joy is a feeling of gratitude and happiness. Sometimes when we think about joy, we can imagine a picture where everyone is smiling and jumping up and down. That's only one expression of joy. Joy isn't just happiness, it's also gratitude. And gratitude is being thankful and knowing that God is with you. When my parents first told me that I was going to have a younger brother, I had so many feelings. I was super excited and also scared. Would I be a good big sister? Would I have fun with him? Would I know how to take care of him? My parents reminded me that being an older sibling wasn't about being perfect. It was about welcoming and caring for a new part of our family. I didn't know everything, but I was joyful because it was something to celebrate. I could still be grateful that I was having a baby brother, and I know that God was with me. All of us are chosen to do something special, even when it's hard. No matter how big or small it may seem to you, you are already invited to do special things. God invites each of us into God's story. Sometimes it can be a little scary or difficult, but you can still choose joy. And joy can look different for each person. Mary was grateful that God chose her. And even though she didn't know everything about what would happen, she chose joy. Each of us have the opportunity to do that too. Now it's your turn to wonder.
Okay. It is time for our arts and crafts. And you have in your kit your week one bag, which you will need. You've got lots of things in here. What we're going to do this week is we're making Mary and Angel puppets. So we're just going to start with one. And you have, you have some yarn here. And you're going to use that for hair. So you can just cut a few pieces of that. However you want either Mary or your angel's hair to be. Pardon my, my boxer dog who's protecting us from all postmen and UPS men. So you're gonna take one of your craft sticks and you can take a marker, you can take a colored pencil, you can take a pen and you're gonna draw a face on one end first. And I think Mary's gonna be happy. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw a happy face on mine. Just like that. I've got a little, little, little happy face on there, okay? And then you're going to glue some yarn on for hair. You take one of your glue sticks and you can just glue some hair on there. I probably should have put my face a little further down, but that's the general idea. If you have liquid glue, it might work a little bit better, okay? And then after that, you're gonna, I think Mary might be wearing blue. So I'm gonna wrap this around her like that, okay? And then, I think first, I'm gonna use a little bit of my string here to make a belt to hold this on. I think that'll be better than gluing. I'm gonna give her a little belt. However you want to do it, you can be as creative as you want. Okay, so there's my Mary. Now, when you do your angel, your angel puppet, see, there's my Mary puppet. Yeah, there she is. When you do your angel puppet, you're probably wondering why there were coffee filters in here. You're gonna use those for wings for your angel, okay? So let's pretend, just fold it in half like that. And then let's say this was your angel. You can glue this to the back and make some angel wings out of it, okay? It'd be really pretty, right? So you can have a Mary puppet and an angel puppet and act out that story that we just did on your own. There you go. What do you think, guys? They approve. All right. Have fun, guys. Bye. Okay, adults, it's time for our spiritual practice for this week. You know, sometimes we have to practice joy, even in stressful and anxious times. I know you all know that. One thing to help us with this, it's one of my favorite things to do, is called face scrunches. So what you do is when you're feeling that anxiety and that stress, you scrunch up your face as tight as possible and you hold it for a few seconds and then release all the muscles in your face and even stick out your tongue. Let's try this a couple of times. You ready? Okay, let's do a face scrunch. <sighs> let's do it again. Even doing these uh, spiritual practice will help you even laugh a little bit because it looks so funny. It releases tension make you smile. So I hope that you'll give this a try this week, adults, uh, for your spiritual practice. See you again soon. Okay. We have something exciting this time. We have a new celebration chart. Morty's showing you right now. And it has all kinds of Christmassy kinds of things on it. Like accepted a new responsibility, sang a happy song, 
shared good news, gave a gift, all kinds of things on there. So remember to make your check, check marks as you complete those, those things on your celebration chart. We also have our advent wreath that it's time to light too. And we it, have... It is time to light our advent wreath and this is our second week. So we invite you to light your first candle again and you can light your, your wreath that you have from the kit that we've been sharing at church. Or you can use the event wreath that Miss Laurie has that came with your kit, your Celebrate Wonder kit. Those look great. Last week we lit the candle of hope and this week, this past Sunday, we lit the candle of love. There's my love rock right there. And uh, there's so much love in our story today, isn't there? And so much joy in the story of Mary and the angel. And we hear about how she sang and praised God. How do you like to praise God? You know, one of the ways I like to praise God is by singing. Anybody else like to sing? Yeah, can I sing a line of one of my favorite hymns for you all? You can join with me. Joyful, joyful, we adore thee, God of glory, Lord of love. I love that hymn. That's one of the ways that I show joy and hope that you'll spend some time this week singing and showing your joy and your love. Do you have a favorite hymn or song right now this time of year, Miss Laurie? Well, right now, as we've been doing this, I love the song. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. That's one of my favorites. And whenever love I hear the word joy, I always think of that song. Love it, love it. So you guys spend some time singing this week as a part of your spiritual practice together as a family. And uh, we encourage you, of course, to use your celebration chart. If you need, again, any of the materials for Celebrate Wonder, let us know in the church office and we'll get you connected up with them. But now it's time to uh, come to our end. Shall we have a prayer together? I think we shall. Okay, here, I'll say a line and you say it after me, all right? Okay. Dear God. Dear God. Thank you for joy. Thank you for joy. And love. And love. Help us be joyful this week. Help us be joyful this week. Amen. Amen. Wonderful. So remember to stick around for at least a couple more minutes for our new music video for this week and these next few weeks called Joy to sing along. And then we'll see you again next week for Celebrate Wonder. All right. Sounds good. Have a great week, guys. Hello. What a day Everything is happening And there's no reason to be afraid You say Stand up Look around So much good news everywhere And oh such a beautiful sound all around oh some days I can see it sometimes it sneaks up on me you give me ears to hear it and you open up my eyes to see that you feel
Cause you feel 